Wait, before the video begins, be sure to drop a like and a sub down below, otherwise this guy will be door camping you the entire way. Yo guys and welcome finally to another base build on my channel and today I'm hopping into another nice simple bunker base for you guys. I wanted to design a bunker base that was more focused on a PvP aspect slash base defense. This base isn't insanely strong like most of the bases I try and build since usually that takes away the fact from usability and stuff like that and also the fact that they cost a load. So talking about the cost we're going to get straight into it as you can see on screen right now about 5,500 wood about 30k stones, 700 metal frags, about 150 high quality metal with the upkeep being about 30 high qual, 1200 metal frags and 5200 stones or around there as you can see. Now obviously this doesn't counter in the fact of costs for doors, deployables and everything like that since that is subject to change depending on what BPs you have and what BPs you do not have when building this base. So remember to keep that in mind. Now since obviously I designed this base more for the usability and stuff like that, this is a 19 rocket raid basically straight to TC from most angles. However, it can be added quite a lot more onto the rocket raid cost as they go further out the base away from the TC. The only way it will be 19 is if they hit straight to TC, which is obviously very unlikely for them to know exactly where it is and exactly where to hit straight away. Also, since this base is super cheap, you can easily add another layer of stone honeycomb in or upgrade to sheet metal honeycomb in if you really want to and add another four to eight rockets on super easily with minimal cost. But anyway, let's just get straight into the base build. Now coming through the front door of the base, as you can see, you're greeted by a shotgun trap as well as the normal just lookout windows that I have basically on most of my base designs. Coming through the next door, we have another shotgun trap as well as a garage door open to save time. Now we're going to start by going through the left garage door where as you can see, four large boxes below as well as a shotgun trap. And then above that, we have a research bench and two more large boxes. Coming up, another garage door open to save time. And another garage door open to save time. Onto the roof, as you can see, loads of room to land your helicopters and everything like that, as well as a shotgun trap blocking the jump down. Now these three sheet metal doors obviously lead you into your window room, where we have a full 360 degree view of the base. Coming back down through this single sheet metal door, as you can see, Here's the corridor base, but first going right, another loot room right here with six larger boxes as well as an open garage door to save time. Now coming back into the core, as you can see sleeping bags as well as shotgun traps to defend the entrance of your core. Now going right, as you can see this is basically where your furnaces are, two garage doors open to save time as well as five large boxes in this room. Then coming through here, single small box, two large boxes, then two more large boxes in the next area, as well as small boxes under the workbenches. Obviously a level two workbench, level three workbench. And then on the right, we have a furnace, TC and a campfire. That's it for the walkthrough. Let's get straight into the base build. Okay, now building the core of the base is super simple and obviously starting off with our TC cupboard room right here with a single triangle foundation, two walls and a ceiling on top. Just place your tool cupboard in there. Coming off that, we're going to build one square foundation, two triangle foundations, another square foundation, two more triangle foundations and another square foundation. Then coming off this square foundation at the front, we're going to add a triangle foundation. Then going around the entire area, we're going to add four walls, apart from where we just added that triangle foundation. Then obviously on top of those four walls, we're going to add a ceiling to start sealing it off. And where we added that triangle foundation, we're going to build off two high triangle foundations, add two half walls, remove the bottom one, and that's our bunker entrance. Now in the core of the base, I'm going to do this upgrading now, however, obviously you can do it later on, but I'm going to make the triangle the TC in is full high quality, the square next to it full high quality metal, and then the two triangles off that square, I'm going to make those into sheet metal as well as obviously the walls and the ceilings.
Now that's all I'm going to upgrade in the corridor base because basically with the honeycomb in I'm adding, I'm only adding one layer of stone honeycomb in. So obviously stone honeycomb in plus high call basically adds up to two garage doors plus sheet and a stone honeycomb. Obviously as you go throughout the white you might build up loads of extra resources which can add honeycomb around the base or inside the core of the base you can start upgrading the rest to sheet metal or high call. Probably not high call since it is quite a big core but sheet metal is definitely possible throughout the white. Now we're going to add a layer of honeycomb around the base, so just follow what I do with triangle honeycombing all the way around. Now by the two raised foundations, there's going to be two square honeycombing tiles. We're only going to add four walls on the outside. We're not going to fully seal those off. However, we are going to fully seal off the triangle honeycombing going around the base, as well as fully sealing off the half wall layer of honeycombing that I'm going to show you that I add on the roof. Now with these two outer squares we left quite open, we're going to go outside around the back, add these foundations, half walls, floor tiles, so we can go inside and make a shelf on both of the square rooms. You don't need to upgrade the outer stuff to stone obviously since I'm removing it very shortly. Then on the first one on the left, we're just going to add a floor tile two half walls, then another floor tile on top, seal that off, start going along the front, adding this floor wall and double door frame. Then in the next one, we're basically gonna do the same thing. However, instead of sealing the top off, this is gonna be our jump up area. So we're gonna add more double door frames. We're actually gonna add two jump ups so we can get to the roof roof later on, since the first jump up is gonna be to the shooting floor and the second jump up is gonna be to the top of the roof where you can land helicopters and stuff like that. So to finish off building the front of the base, we're gonna build out four triangle foundations. Then around that, we're gonna add three double door frames and on the first triangle foundation, a four wall and a single door. Then on top of that, we're gonna add a roof obviously. And then right here, we're gonna add stairs going up. Also right now, we're gonna add these two single door frames just by the core of the base. You can add these a lot earlier on since obviously this will make it easier to secure your core if you don't have garage doors and you can't be bothered to use too many double doors. Since personally, I don't like double sheet metal doors too much apart from at the front of the base. Now on the current roof of the base that's there, we're gonna add this full wall as well as three single door frames on this part right here. And then going around the whole circumference of the base, we're gonna go ahead and add a window frame. So just go around, add them all, put them all down. If you wanna build out the little triangle honeycomb in parts and add window frames on them as well so people can't jump up as easy, that's up to you. However, I don't really see that as too much of a problem. And then obviously with everything we've just placed, go around and add a ceiling to the entire thing to secure the roof and close it off a little bit more. Now with all the door frames I've placed down, it's pretty simple what we're gonna be putting in them. On the front here by the stairs, we're gonna have a sheet door opening inwards, then two shop fronts. Now for the rest of the base, everywhere where there's a single door frame, there's going to be a single sheet metal door. And everywhere there's a double door frame, there's going to be a garage door. So you can easily go around the base placing them down as you get the resources to do so and building up your base and securing it more and more.
Now, when it comes to the windows floors, obviously, you want to put window bars or window frames on them. What I would do is put window glass and then an embrasure. So, like, one side you can see who's outside without getting shot and you're nice and secure. And then one window you can peek out of and easily shoot them. Because with half the windows with window glass, obviously you still have full 360 degree view on the base since there's so many windows around the base already. Okay, now onto the item placement where obviously I'm going to be placing stuff like large boxes, furnaces, the level 2, the level 3, shotgun traps and everything like that. Now I'm just going to let it play out and you can watch how I place my stuff and see if you want to place it the same or if you want to place it differently. Because you can 100% fit more small boxes, campfires, large boxes and stuff like that. However, it will clutter the base quite a bit. I placed it how I wanted to place it, so I got as much stuff in as possible without making it super annoying to be able to loot everything since i don't like having loads of random small boxes everywhere with little amounts of looting i'd rather less large boxes with most of my looting if that makes sense so if you do want to cram in loads of small boxes campfires stuff like that feel free to do so it's just that's not how i like to play so this is how i would design it and place my loot One quick thing I want to mention right here when placing these two large boxes is if you want to drop down shotgun trap right here, which I'd recommend since it's a really good place to have one if someone raids you through your roof, you have to place the shotgun trap before the boxes or place one large box on the far left or far right, place the shotgun trap and then the other box next to it. Because once both boxes are placed down, no matter how much room you leave, the shotgun trap won't be placeable. So place one shotgun trap, then the other, or place shotgun trap, then both boxes. Now with the last two shotgun traps currently being placed next to the front door, that is actually going to be it for the base build. If you did like the design, be sure to drop a like and a sub down below, it all helps me out so much since I'm going to be making so many more bases when the spiral stairs and triangle floor tiles come out that can have ladder hatches and floor grills on them. Can't wait for that update, that looks so cool. But anyway guys, hope you enjoyed the video, hope you see you for my future ones and peace out.